What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bad Gaming. As always, if you're from I see back to the Don, and I am back today with the ignited entry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a banger from the guy Jordy Boy. If you've never seen a Jordy Boy game, you're in for a treat. I played the most recent entry of his, the final pin, almost a year ago. Link in the description. This is the second game of his that I'm playing, but his fourth overall. So if you guys enjoy this game, man, we're gonna have to dig back into his catalog, bro. I have no clue what this is about. As I told you, I never read the descriptions of anything. But what I will tell you is, this game looks hella crispy on my computer right now. And I'm excited to get started. So I know you have your just snack, so without further ado, let's get right at it now. Ooh, look at it, guys. As I said, hella crispy. He was a fireman, bold and true. Until one night, the flames withdrew. A mother and son lost to the blaze. Their lives cut short in a fiery haze. The father saw the firemen arrive, but ran at first, too fearful of time. Through the smoke and flame, he couldn't stay. The firemen pulled him and rushed away. The father passed, his family gone. And the fireman's guilt would linger on. He left the job, tried to stand tall. But the silence broke with a sudden phone call. I like how you entered the I like the little rhyming scheme they did with that, guys. That was a little that was cool. Get you in the in the spirit. So we're a fireman and he failed to save a family. And now he's getting a phone call, which is gonna fuck up his day. Let's hear it. Hey. Hey, it's your brother, it? Jason. Hey, Jason. Long time no see, how have you been? Yeah, it's been a while. I've been busy. Yeah, I noticed. I haven't heard from you in months. What's going on? Look, I don't really have time for small talk right now. I need a favor. Damn. All right, nigga. Oh, okay. What's up? I'm moving out, and I need some help. Thought maybe my dear brother could spare a few hours. I don't want to help you move. Moving out? You can give me some heads up. Why now all of a sudden? Life happens, all right? Lion ass. I don't need to explain myself to you. Yes, you do. You no. Not. You can't ask me for your help and not explain, bro. Come on. Well, I guess I can help. Bullshit. Great. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. You're not going to pull up on me last second and say, I need you to help me. And then when I ask you, why do I need to help you? You're going to tell me, don't worry about it. No. Make some explanation to me. I, I wouldn't even be in this car. So how have you been? I've been fine. Can I look Nothing at him? special thing going on, really. Just the same old routine, I guess. Cool, cool. Yeah, I feel that. Can I look at him? Why well, to click the screen, guys? What was that? Probably just a church bell or something. Are you sure? Anyway, are you still looking for a new job? Yeah, bro, I'm in between jobs right now, bro. I'm just trying to figure it out, bro. You know, that fire mission really had me messed up. I want to make a difference, to be the one who saved lives. But when you fail to save someone, it breaks you. And no one tells you how to carry that weight. I see. Hi, cows. Hi, cows. What the hell is that sound? Wait, that's not a church bell. What are all these crosses? It's nearby. Pull over where that noise is coming from. Why? Ignore the noise. It doesn't have anything to do with that upside down cross. We're dead. There's, there's two of them. Rose's end. I've been here before. The house burnt down. 
and I was there to save the family that was trapped inside. So this is where he failed. But I didn't make it in time. The sound is coming from inside the house. We should go check it out. Yeah, sure, I guess. I mean, the least you could do. If I wasn't out here with you, I wouldn't have heard it. Come on, bud. Chop, chop. Let's get it. Put that bit. Put the motherfucker in park. Let's go. Yeah, of course. Hey, man, I appreciate my brother Jason. He, my brother, you know, let me tell you about my brother Jason, bro. Jason got a got an egghead, bro. Jason got a long back, bro. Jason call you when you, when you least expect it to ask him to help you move. I might did I say ask him to help you move. I mean, ask him to help him move and fuck you. You don't get a say in it. You don't even get to ask him why he moving. Just just help him move. And then he drives you past your trauma and it helps you out type shit. You know, let me tell you more about my brother. My brother Jason, you know, he not really loyal. It's dark as a bitch in here. Wait a minute. Do we not have a flashlight? Why is there grass inside? Is that the haunted bodies of the of the dead bitch? Wait a minute. Jason? Jason! Can we talk about it? Jason. Jason, you, you walking through here. We don't see shit. You just walk into this big ass door. What if something grabs us? We remember the symbol. Huh? What does this symbol mean? Brother? Oh my fucking! For what reason? We've been in space time to tell you yourself? Is that what time we on, Jordy? Oh, Lord. Now watch, we gonna wake up, my brother gonna be go ignited entry, guys. That's the intro? We just got pulled into a portal? Where's my, is my brother gonna be there when I land? Are we together for the rest of the gameplay? Or now do I have to go find him? Brother. Ah, what's going on, Jason? I must be fucked. Cause you hear that squishiness? What's that squishiness? Did I mess up something? Jason! Jason, don't leave me, Jason! Why did he run into the house? To get help? We're in a portal, bitch. Don't, don't leave me by myself. This nigga never came back from me. He never came back from me, guys. That answers my question. We gotta go save Jason. Jason! Jason! He wrote the mark on my arm like a demon? What's good with you, nigga? A symbol has been cut to your flesh. We heard him do it. Why did he cut the symbol into my arm? Weird ass nigga. Jason, come back here! Rose is in. What in the hell? Bro. Can we just talk about the, the camera? Like how you can kind of see like a little head bob, bro? That's crazy. A searing pain. And I see, if the, see it carved into my flesh, the symbol of my fate. This mark binds me to a destiny I cannot escape. Oh, this is going to be wild, guys. Door won't budge. This game might be wild, bro. Look at this, bro. Oh, this game about to be wild. What is this place? Look at the painting, bitch. Look at this. Look at the demonic artwork that's already in here. We've been here literally 30 seconds. Look at the painting. What else is going to happen? What else is in here, guys? All the doors are locked. Ain't nothing but painting in, 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 in long corridors. Knock, knock. It's gotten darker. All right, cool. Jordy, what 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 time time are we fitting to be on, big dog? Last guys, the final pit, if you saw it, you know just like, as much as I do that this is a complete departure from that game. So I have no clue what time are we on. The only the only matching thing is that the job consumed the, 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 the player character. That's it. Outside of that, oh my god. Alright, yep, keep going. Yep, ain't no bitch. We're here, yeah. Uh shut up. 
Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, fine. Keep going. J side! Jason! Jason! All right, the door's locked, great. Well, you do know where we can go, yeah? Okay. Uh, we don't have a choice. Are you serious? Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is wild. It's so dark. Why did we, I mean, I guess we had no choice. Where else were we gonna go? What in the hell is this cave system? This is insanity, bro. Reception? Yeah, oh, the, 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 guys, the front door to hell. There's no sound, you hear that, yeah? There's literally zero sound, just your footsteps. I, what's going on, Satan? Ding, ding. Yeah, of course, ring the bell. Reception, hi, my name is, I don't know. I used to be a firefighter. Nice to meet and you, sir. And welcome to, my name is Steve, and I will be your personal AI assistant for today. Before we begin, an identification scan will be needed to identify the cause of your death. Please stand still. Causing your death? How strange. We're not dead. The cause of your death is blank in my database. Because we're not dead. Which means you are still alive. Yes. Can you recall what brought you here? A big ass portal. A hatch in the ground brought me and my brother into this place. The hatch was in a previously burnt down home where a family inside died in the house fire. There's I mean, another fellow who goes by the name Brother Jason. That's my brother Jason. Let me tell you about my brother though. My you brother got an apple head. My brother kind of got a long neck. My brother lead me and cut weird symbols into my arm. Who is named? The hatch also means that an entity in this has invited you or your brother here for an unknown reason. Understandable. The hatch is unable to separate invitations between shared DNA of siblings, which is why the two of you are here. Gotcha. Oh. All right. What now? How do we fix this? How do I get my brother out of here? Since I can't design into an aftergrave without a valid death permit. I will release you to freely roam the until the ones who brought you here decide to send you back. But before you go, I'm required to fly you with the Fast 92. This is okay. used to relive all the memories by pairing it with a memory orb in order to counteract insanity. I would advise you to stick to your own memory orbs unless you like peeking into other people's memories. Okay. Anyways. You will now be transferred to... Cool. Ta -ta -ta. Bye, Steve! What? I thought we were going back to a, another section of hell. Now we're on a train? Visitor Glide. Oh, I guess a train system at wherever the fuck we are. We need a VHT. Hello, and welcome aboard on the Visitor Glide. Let's see if there's a VHS tape on you here, you guys. You are currently being transported to the aftergrave of your inviter. Okay. You will arrive shortly. Cool. Until then, can we get a tape? Do I have a tape? A welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. Okay. The teleportation of your gift will commence in approximately Oh, it's probably the tape to go into here. Told you. There we go. In a horrifying incident that has shocked the community, a house fire has resulted in the loss of three lives as it okay. appears to be The news report for when we failed. What? The victims have been identified as and her 12 year old son. Tragically, the father also lost his life in the hospital a few days later from lung damage and a heroic attempt to rescue his family upon discovery 
I remember these names. The names. Oh, that's that's the house fire. That's our house fire, as we said. All right. Dog, who are we going to now? Another long corridor? Nope, but it's a dark corridor. Hello, Chase Emily Aftergrave. There's that weird ass picture, guys. Oh, Windows 2000, guys. Emily turned the password. Uh, I'm dead, bitch. No? Super hot fire. I'm getting cooked right now. I guess we gotta figure out the passwords. Yeah, none of these seem to work. Oh, I can change rooms, guys. Hey, do you see that reflection right there, guys? There's somebody right here on this third window. Oh, and they just dug down. I, I know y'all saw that. I know you saw that. I made it a point to pull it out, bro. What the hell? Is that my brother just watching me get trapped up in his trap house, bro? Brother, come help me, bro. Like, why are you acting like this? Oh, I can look into memories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull out the, uh, bunch of eyeglasses. Uh. I only have four uses of my memory glass left, guys. But I think this is going to tell me the password. Emily's eyes. Oh, shoot. Laundromat again? Our dryer's too small for this guest room load. Oh, wow, we actually can like, hey, control hey, her. Quick question. Did you happen to change the computer password? The password, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did, actually. I meant to tell you, but it completely slipped my mind. No worries. It happens to the best of us. Why the change, though? Well, our little tech whiz of a son has been spending more time on the computer than on his schoolwork lately. So I thought a little password change might redirect his attention. Ah, sneaky move. So where's the new hiding spot for the password this time? Behind the dryer in the utility room. Okay. <laughs> Figured it would be a safe Dryer in the Got utility it. room. Thanks for keeping things in check, darling. Anything for our little troublemaker, right? Exactly. They have a good relationship, guys. Death Registry, Emily Turner. 1975 to 2013. Burned alive. Behind the dryer. Chase Turner 43. Jesus? What am I saying Jesus for? You know it's Satan. Satan out here right now waiting for me to turn this corner. Oh, the door just opened up. Chase Turner 43, yeah? Uh, fuck it, just go. Just go. Just go. It's so weirdly dark everywhere, guys. I got like, chills just walking around this map right now. Uh, so Chase, hold on. Chase Turner. Let's start with documents, guys. Not right now. Pictures. Oh, there's no pictures, guys. Only documents. All right, let's go. Uh, folders locked. To open the folder, you need security questions. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, I do. Let's let's, let's think about it. Emily was driving to the laundry mat. She said that. Her laundry at her place wasn't big enough type shit. And it looked like she was doing it like in the afternoon. She said, yo, was it doing his schoolwork? So she had to change it, change the password. If I had to guess she a teacher, we gonna say yes. Is Chase allergic to peanuts? All right, so what we know about Chase that Chase likes to, after school, get on the computer and chill. When he on a computer and chilling, I gotta fathom he eating snacks like y'all doing when you watching this video type shit. So if he eating snacks, you think he one of them niggas who eat nuts? 
He 12. I gotta fathom he more of a Skittles nigga, so I'm gonna say, yeah, he allergic. That's William and Joy fishing on the weekends. William seemed like a kind guy, right? On, the, on our conversation type shit. And he said he, his wife was real smart and he was happy with her. So I gotta fathom no, he don't fish on the weekends. Dog, I don't. Uh, uh. Let's think about Emily, right? When she was pulling up to the place, yeah? Her phone screen was blue, so I'm gonna say yes. Does Chase have a pet turtle? So Chase, right? He goes to school every day. And I, I'm assuming he's allergic to nuts. So does he have a pet turtle? Does William enjoy cooking? He said I'm a rock star and I don't think he fish, but he probably don't really like cooking either. So I'm gonna say no. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? What in the nanny fuck? Uh, I mean, Technically speaking, y'all watching me right now, so yeah, I do feel like I be watch, be getting watched sometimes. Is Emily's favorite flower roses? Well, you know roses smell like boo boo boo, so yeah, yeah, probably. Do you know you're being watched? I would hope so. If I wasn't being watched, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. So yeah. Yeah, I do know I'm being watched. I mean, y'all watching it right now. I'm watching me watch you watch me right now. So, yeah, we all watching each other like the watchers we are. I'm not getting off this computer, you know that, yeah? Not doing it. If he gonna set my throat, choke me out, or bend my back, he just gonna have to do it on some real shit. I'm gonna just have to eat that. Right now, I see that uh, all of our answers have allowed us uh, to enter the room of TXT. Don't mind the tears. I'm not crying because I think I'm gonna die. My eyes is just watery. <clears throat> I think we got some marching orders. What do y'all think? Oh, you guys ready? Let's go. What's good, nigga? So far, so good, yeah? They said under the bed. They didn't say which bed. So before I check the other bed, let's check and see if the key needed. All right, cool. Yep. We gotta get the key for under the bed. All right, but under the bed, it's gonna be a crispy body waiting for us. You know that, yeah? Let's say hi to Mr. Crispy. Mr. Crispy, chicken tender skin. Grab the key. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Guys, Jordy boy. I like it. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you, did you see the shoulder? Are you sure it's him? Yes. I saw the symbol on his arm. It's him. What the fuck? Oh, I'm here for it. This game is crazy. 
Yo! What's good with you, nigga? Let's talk about it. I have a key. Wait, I need another key? So what was the key that I just got? Was that not the key for that? Uh, check here. Go this way. Oh, I need a key. I need to equip the key. I need to equip the key. Sorry, 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 sorry. You can understand why I'm a little behind schedule, yes? Okay, cool. Uh, perfect. Oh shit, I put the key back. All right. Okay, you can, there we go. I was standing too close. We're good. <sighs> the robot saw Chase's tears of pain, gave him an arcade to ease his strain. Play little one, it softly said. Let the joys of the game soothe your dread. What do you think these people look like, guys? Because that nigga Liddy, they were like banging against the shit. The nigga punched through and said, yeah, that nigga here, mama. I know him is. I see his arm. How did he see to my arm, nigga? We didn't even see to each other. Unless he can see the burning uh, symbol through the door because his eyes are that of a demon. And we're about to walk right into him. But, oh, look at that big-headed bitch. Chase, you were one ugly-ass nigga. Half of your head, not even your head. Nigga, look like John F. Kennedy before he got shot. Listen, and I realized that was a little dated of a reference. Some of y'all a little young for that. But look at a young picture of John F. Kennedy. He looked just like this nigga. Uh, what's, what's, is this Chase? Oh, yeah, still ugly-ass Chase. Now, you know... We see two versions of that photo. The next time we see him, it's gonna be fucked. Jason! What the hell are you doing? Come talk to me, brother. What? Okay, cool. You hear what he said? Fuck him. Can we just go back to the... Can we go back to the fact that the only reason I'm doing all of this and I'm stuck in all of this shit is because this nigga asked me to help him move. Now listen, I know I'm the one who said we should go into the building, but I would have never had that opportunity if he had left me the fuck at home. When I was at home, we was living ghetto fabulous. He had to get moved. He could have called a U-Haul. He could have called her sister Brandy. You know she great mover. Her husband, Ted, he a great guy. Ted don't do shit else but help niggas move. But what did he do? He called his ex fireman brother, who really should just be at home taking his PTSD medication, and then stand up out here trapped in hell with Jimmy, Jason, Johnny, Emily, Chase, Ricky, Bobby, all the Jacksons in them, uh, and Paula Abdul, and I'm pretty sure I saw Simon Cowell down this motherfucker. Come on, man. Jason! I don't have a choice. Back up. Crazy Get in the elevator. Find a way to power the elevator? A new way opened up. What in the fuck, bro? This game is insane, bro. I like it though. Cause you, I'm like, I don't even know what we felt, what we finna do, rations? Pork chunkies, I know you gotta be hungry, bro. Grade A pork chunkies, bro? You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a microwave. Grab the key and take a can of pork chunkies, bro. We hungry, dog. We've been down here at least an hour. Maybe two? I'm pretty sure I got, you know, you put, you leak it from the cut in your arm at least, you know? Get some pork in your system. Maybe my nigga Muslim. Who knows, bro? Did I tell you about my brother how he trash? All right, cool. Because he got us trapped up in this shit. Somebody's memory. I only got four more uses, move. Move. Just ignore it, go around it. Just, I don't have a choice. I only have three more uses after this, guys. Keep that in mind. When I need it most. Chase's eyes. Okay, so he's at the we arcade. We rescue a pong. We should have enough tokens for the main prize. All okay. Right. Who's going first? I'll take care of this one. See? Guys, we got this, guys. Chase Turner. 2001 to 2013. Burned alive. All right. Oh, this is crazy. Activate the arcade machine. All right, guys, let's get the high score for Jason or uh, uh, Chase, rather. For Chase, for Chase. Jason's my piece of shit brother. 
with with a prize player one versus chase told you who the pong pedal guys i can't move it guys i can't oh i have to use up and down i have to use up and down what the fuck did you see up to the side Hey, that's not even fair, nigga. You gonna fight me, fight me, nigga. But don't, but don't sit here and have me play this right ass game of Pong and you wanna talk. Cause I don't mind talking. I Talking is probably the best thing I, I can ever do in my entire life, guys. I'm really good. Oh, I fucked. I fucked. I fucked. I fucked. I fucked. Oh, my God. Okay, so I can't lose to Jason. Or Chase. It's a lot of names. I told you I'm bad at them, and, and, and my brother, he like, uh, did I tell you how he how he got us in this scenario to begin with? Now I'm sitting here fighting a demon child. Fuck, bro. All right, so it's first to three. We can't lose to Chase. Here's how we not lose to Chase. First off, we know now it's up and down on the arrow keys. You see how that is? I thought I could use S, W, and S, but I can't. All right, guys, we up, we up, we up. Fuck them. Sweet, clean, sweet, clean, sweet, clean, sweet. Ignore him, ignore him, ignore him. Please sweep, please sweep, please sweep, please sweep. Please sweep, please sweep. Sweep that nigga. Sweep him up. Sweep him up. Sweep, sweep. Sweep that nigga. Sweep him. Fuck off my court, little bitch. Exactly. See, he, he hopped off my court. He think he think he was hot shit because he won't pull up on me when he won last time. I won this time and he ran off like a little bitch. Fuck you, Chase. 12 year old punk ass nigga. I know. I know. He, I know he burned alive, guys. But hey, man. He, 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 was, he, was, front, he was crispy like them chicken skins. Right? Uh, didn't I have a key? Didn't I have a key already? It, it, when I died, did I lose the key? Yeah, that's exactly what happened, guys. My daughter lost the key. That's fine. We know now. We got it. MBD. Let's go open up this thing and uh, put the fuse in. You're right. That's fine. And that's where. I don't know which way that's coming from. Is that the elevator or from in front of me from earlier? Just stand back here. Stand off center. I can't tell. I really can't tell. I think I should have called the elevator a long ass time ago. I fucked. I fucked. I took too long. I fucked. I fucked! Get in the elevator! Nope. I took too long. Nigga just ripped the door off. Are you serious? Jordy, please don't let this be copyrighted. You called me on the last video like this. I can't move. I can't move. Just telling you that now. I try to hit up and down. I can't move. I can look around though. That's it. I can't move. This is it. Guys, we're going to just. Nope. We're screwed. If you just crouch, it might not hurt your ankles as bad when you land. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. I don't give a fuck what this nigga going through. It's not worth it, bro. Whatever he attempted to accomplish by coming here today was not worth it. He's having them zany dreams, bro. All right. So Steve helped us last time, but he Steve set us to a new person. Who are we now meeting? Hello, ding ding. We don't have a choice. Hello. Who is it this time? Come on.
Come on. I met Steve last time when I rang the bell. Who am I meeting this time? Oh, I can actually move again. Hello? For desk service. Guys, you saw me hit the bell, yeah? So where the fuck is the front desk service? This raggedy ass fucking company. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, you absolute pussy. Anyways, I have been sent over to inform you that an individual from another afterlife has requested a visitor call with your name on it. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? I have spawned a phone for you to use. A bit far into the rooms. Future oh. policy. We only allow a short amount of phone time between visitors and the dead. So make it quick. Ta ta. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's talk to who wants to talk to us on the phone. I don't have really a choice. Are you serious? Hey, you don't know me that well, but I know you. I'm not allowed to speak to the visitor phone for too long, so listen very closely. Okay. You need to keep moving forward. Eventually, you will find the aftergrave exit. Okay. Pass through it, and you'll be safe from them. Okay. From there, I've arranged the visitor glide to come pick you up and take you to my location. You have to talk. Good luck. All right. You heard what he said. So, that's my symbol on my arm. Why can't I move the door? Uh, matchbook. Jason's matches. Okay. When ignited, these matches have the ability to dissolve anything bearing the symbol. Oh. Okay. So, in order to enter the door, I need to ignite the matches. It seems as though this door is an ignited entry. Somebody? Ignite the exit, yeah? Blow out or keep, I mean, blow it out. Put it away. We, oh, actually, psych, pull it back out. Ignite it again. Because you need to go over here. Anything bearing the symbol, yeah? Anything bearing the symbol, yeah? Okay. I think I need to find pieces, but since I'm not reading that, we're not gonna worry about it. Just, just do what we need to do. Use common sense. Common sense dictates we keep this out, we interact with every single sign, and then we read the sheet of paper, and then organize all the, the things by shape, sizes, colors, and components. I gotta fathom. No, all right. Actually, are we sure? Yeah, no, nothing. We got one more section to our left, which is probably where it's gonna end, it's gonna go fucky. Let's go side dick fucky wucky real quick. We've only got one we've only got one symbol the whole time. That's been that like triangle that we picked up earlier. See, it was like that. But like I feel like we gotta have the rest of the symbol. But it's not anywhere. Maybe right here. There it is. Oh, that's scuffed. My inventory is full. Oh, 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 I see, I see, 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 see. I gotta make the symbol again, but I need to put the symbol down somewhere. On the door, maybe? Check the table now, because now we know where all the parts are. Check the table. Hi, mom. I hear you singing in your room. I tried to open the door, but I don't know where the key is. When you're done singing, can you come to my room and play Pong with me, Chase? Sorry, I read that very quickly, but we're, we're, we're creating the key. Oh, something can be placed here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it. 
I got it. Nope. Cool. And now we grab the last part from the thing, which is right here. And we put it on the opposite side. It makes that symbol above. This door opens up. There we go. That was both freaky and cool all at the same time. Can't be ignited. Oh yeah, good point, good point. Key. All right. I like how this game is functions though. Like how you get to certain things and get things accomplished. I can't see shit. Just in case you're wondering, I just died and lit the matches. I still can't see shit. So, put that away. What good is that gonna do for me? Not much of nothing. Uh, look around, exit. I don't trust it, but we don't have a choice. Exit. Whatever this means, it has something to do with this diary. I need to find the key to this. I need a diary key. I need a key diary. Oh, this the cross symbol above us, guys. Hold on. Cross symbol, you know what I'm trying to say. The the lighter symbol. Oh, is that way to flip the room? Oh, I can't see shit. Guys, there's a well. The crank for the well is missing. Oh, come on. But the key can be down there. Okay. I see the vision. I see the vision. We gotta go around. We gotta find a mission crank and we gotta flip this whole room around. I don't have a choice. I love how I was asked you like, will you enter the hatch? I don't have a choice. You won't let me leave unless I do these things. So we go do them. They, like, look, at the end of the day, this is O's and fucking ones, me. We just gotta keep, we keep walking forward. We keep moving forward and then things happen and then they don't happen again. We know what happens because they happen to us and then we, we keep moving forward so they don't happen again. See, they heard, you heard the door locked. Yep, see the door hasn't been locked behind me because we just keep moving forward because things will just happen anyway. So why concern yourself about what could happen? Just do and things will occur. Um, We need to find the crank, yes? I'm checking every shelf that I can run across. Ooh, what's this? Oh, brown rice. Okay, cool. Um, brown rice doesn't necessarily help me at the moment, but you know, if we had some water down here, maybe we could make something to eat. You know, we've been out here at least about two hours. You know my nigga hungry. He didn't even do shit today, guys. He woke up in the morning, his brother called him, was like, help me out, bro. Help me out, step bro. And what did we, what did, what did the help except bro do? Get us in this bullshit. I can't move. Again, by the way. You see the shadow off the wall, yeah? Oh, that's gonna be crazy. You ready? Come on. I'm ready, bro. I knew that. I knew that was coming. I knew that was gonna happen. Use matches to see in the dark. I I knew what was gonna happen, bro. I you saw me like the match early. But this is not seeing. What the fuck is this? Nigga, you call this seeing? This is not vision, Jordy. Nigga, there's no such thing as vision. There's not like nothing. Oh, this is fucked. Am I supposed to get out of here like this? There's just no way. You, I need to power the exit generator. Oh, there's no way. How am I gonna remember this? Okay, let me take a photo of this, yeah? And now I'm gonna have to follow this photo on my phone while we walk. So now we need to hug the wall till we get to the doorway. We get to the doorway, go top right. Just walk straight to the door, the wall. Hug the wall till we get to the entrance, right? Now, we have to hug the wall and walk left. 
along this wall. Fuck everything, yeah? Fuck it all. It doesn't matter. Just hug the wall till we go straight. So now if we walk in to the right a little bit, we should be at the doorway, right? So now I need to walk in and then go to my left. Hold on, hold on, hold on guys, hold on. I now, and I'm gonna put the still up alongside of us so we can walk, we can follow this together. What I'm trying to figure out is that I don't wanna walk straight too much cause then I'll fuck myself over. I think I need to walk in this doorway, hug the wall. Fuck, did I go in the door? All right, nope, not like this, not like this guys. A few minutes later. This is a crazy mechanic, bro. Jordy, can I ask why you decided to do this, bro? Like, why'd you give us a piss ass light that doesn't allow us to see shit? I stack, I staggered into the generator somehow. I literally staggered into this. You saw I didn't know where the fuck I was going. Oh, come on. Come on. What does that even mean? can't tell I'm exasperated. Uh, it's so dark, guys. It's just so fucking dark. Heat matches hitting a what? Oh, wait a minute. Why is it so bright now? Why the why the matches cover so much light now? At first I couldn't see a goddamn thing. Now I can see the fucking ether. Bro. She's gonna have to walk past me. I'm about to sit like this. She's gonna walk into me or walk past me. It just is what it is. As I said, she's gonna have to walk into me or walk past me. I'm not moving. So when she comes back left, I'm gonna try to walk and get out of here. Cause I need to, I'm moving my camera, rotating my camera around. I can't see shit by the way. Fuck, go this way, go this way. If she sees me, she's gonna have to see me guys. We're gonna have to just haul ass, yeah? I like it, I like the vision. I'm glad we're on the same page. All right. So now, back corner. Just close enough that I can see the button so I know where I'm at. I gotta fathom it every time we hit the, the pump, she comes to check. Like, that motherfucker gotta be right here. You know, popping generators and shit um, pisses off monsters. Did you not know that? I found out very recently. Thanks to my guy, Frank. You saw she walked right past the button, yeah? She walked past the button again. This is scuffed, guys. If we hear her, her humming, just cut the lights. We're almost done. I walked to the far left and I think I hit a wall. Yep, I was right. Go in here. Guys, if she sees me, she sees me. We're gonna have to haul ass. It's on the other side, fuck.
put myself in this back corner beside the thing. If she comes down here, it is what it is. But it's a dead end. Like, I can't run past her. If she comes down here to check, I'm gonna run into her. Because we gotta make a break for it and get back up here. She's coming back down here now, you hear her? Did you see her? Tell me, did you see her? In this corner. You saw where I'm at. I'm by the door. She came in the room with me. Did she just walk past me? Make a break for it. 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 I think she just walked past me. Make a break for it. Nigga, go. Nigga. 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 There's no way. Sit back here. She's gotta come in here, yeah? And I gotta make it to the exit. 54 meters, guys. That's the last batch of distance I gotta cross. But she's gonna come in here first. We're gonna be patient. Once she comes in here and does her check, she's gonna then go somewhere. And I'm gonna just make a, I'm a whole ass, bro. I'm gonna clench my cheeks, I'm gonna hit the lighter, and I'm gonna just whole ass. That's scuffed, that's scuffed. You saw how I'm in a, in a box room, yeah? I gotta fathom, if I'm thinking about the, the uh, map, I'm in that corner that I got stuck in earlier, where I was like, trying to figure out which way I needed to go to find the thing. And which is I need to stay on this wall right here and it's my way up. Guys, I'm so fucking close, and I'm not sure if I fail if I reset. Go. First try. Hell yeah. Oh man. All right. Good shit, guys. Use the crank. Yes, 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 yes. For fuck's sake, guys. All right, this is gonna be freaky. Whatever this is, it's fine. Take the glasses off. We don't need them anymore. Check the bucket. Emily's diary key. This hidden key belongs to Emily's personal diary. All right, go out the door. Take a left. Hit the diary. I like this game, Jordy Boy. This is probably, I and like I said, I've only played two of his games, bro, but this is by far my favorite already. By far my favorite. This is insane, bro. So we're still looking for Jason. But now we're reading Emily's diary, but we're going through it as like a coal miner, nigga. Like, I guess. Yeah, why not? I don't have a choice. Let's let's ride through Emily's diary, guys. All right. So it looks like I can look left or right, but that's it. I can't, I'm not moving forward. Looks like there actually is 
it maybe just isn't what I expected it to be. Okay. Me and Chase have been assigned to this thing called an aftergrain. There was and somebody standing understood. there. It's an extension of the place you were at when you died. Okay. We both got killed in our home, so that explains the enormous house at least. You also killed. I hope William is not okay without me and Chase. I miss him so much. That was page one, guys. Page two. The burn scars still haven't gone away. I don't recognize my little boy's beautiful face. And he doesn't recognize mine either. I Damn. can still see the skin peeling from his flesh. That's so scuffed, guys. But that's okay. I just hope he can still look at my face and recognize me as his mother. Page three. The receptionist showed me the way to invite people into my aftergrave by using their DNA. I don't know the name of the man who was there, but he left his matchbox in the house after he killed us. And I think I found it in our aftergrave. Huh? We killed them? If you've gotten far enough to find the key to my diary, then you're probably the person I'm writing this to. I don't know your name. I don't know why you did what you did. But I do remember that symbol. It's the only thing that I saw. And it's the only thing I won't forget. Oh, you deserve whatever happens to you, uh, MC. Memory glass needed. Oh my God, look how big and red this shit is. Oh, we need to see this. I think this is my last two uses left. Bro, Jason's eyes. Well, Jason's eyes. It's an honor for us to have prepared this ritual for you. Will you do the honors? Let's begin. Look at them lined up on all the sides of the wall. This thing was part of a cult that lit these people on fire. Look at them. They are posted up like one of us, one of us, bro. We really burning out as people, family, household for no reason. They were tied up. What? And then we stopped the father from running in to save his family. Are you serious? What a fuck? Yo, come on. Hey, listen. They said extra crispy, yeah? I'm sorry, y'all. Me back. I'm sorry, Jason. He says peace. That's why he cut the symbol into my arm. He's trying to put the blame on me so that he can get out of here alive. But the truth should still be etched into his skin. You mean to tell me the whole time, bro? My brother killed these people and he drug me down here with him and is trying to get out and leave me here with these people. Unbelievable. All right, guys, so as you saw, we just found out that Jason is the reason why we're down here. I inadvertently hit re return back to main menu and then I had a choice of the sections to choose. The section that we were on was called the diary and then this, the section that's after that. I gotta guess we were done with the diary because if you saw there was a door and here where we are, 
there's a door right here. So I gotta assume that's the door we went through. If I miss some of story, then you know, Jordy, I'm sorry type shit. But like, I didn't want to have to watch the 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 all the cutscenes and shit again. Um, but now we're at the door at, at this book, so let's read it. The gate will open with a touch. When inviter's hand prints means so much. Okay. So I guess whoever bought us here, when they touch the door, we can keep going, I guess. I don't know. Uh I I I don't know, use a wheelchair. Why are we using the wheelchair? Guys? Anybody? Oh, we're gonna have to grab their bodies and put them on this wheelchair and use the actual hold on. I called it, guys. Move Chase's real corpse. That's insanity, guys. We really just put Chase in this fucking wheelchair to bring him to the door to open the door. Uh, Emily, I'm so sorry. I needed your son, okay? Y'all, y'all, this they got a whole lot of fucking contingencies and shit. Oh, handprint. That's one. Now we need now we need to go get Emily, guys. I think we need Emily's body too. So we got Chase son. Let's go get uh Emily son. Emily son! I have your Chase son out here. Emily! Listen. Emily. Yeah, she's here. All right. Look, Emily, listen, I need your body too. Yeah. Come on. Hop in. This is really scuffed, by the way. I'm literally moving their dead bodies just so I can get through where I need to go. Why can't I find their real bodies type shit? Yeah. Anyone else? Is it just me? Where is Jason? Jason needs to explain to me why he drug me into this shit. By the way, did he know that like, was he? Did he know that I was the one that ended up losing my job because I watched these niggas die and he just don't give no fucks? Thank y'all. I gotta go confront my brother. Did I tell you how my brother was a piece of shit? When I first started this gameplay. Remember I told you, let me give you, let me tell you stories about my brother. I was right about all of them. You are now seeing that I was correct, bro. Hello. Probably know the truth by now. Yeah. Only one of us is allowed to exit this place. Uh huh. And the family will kill you before you make it to the visitor station. But don't worry, brother. We are grateful for your death. This fuck nugget, bro. Summoned together by mistake, only one can escape. One brother seeks the door to keep his dark lore, the other to fate, or leaving the other to fate. Nigga said, look, they're gonna kill you before you get out, so I don't have to deal with this, and then I can continue to murder more people with the flames of, of, of the great evils. Verify your visitor identity. Yes, thank you. I'm not even really supposed to be here like that. My brother is the one y'all need to be looking for Jason. Not, not, not me. I'm Rick son type shit. I don't know what my name is actually. I'm gonna call myself Rick. Jason got me hold, bro. Rick didn't deserve this guys. Yep, they found you. You saw that, yep, run. Oh. My God, it's a fucking obstacle course, guys. It's an obstacle course, guys. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Don't even look back. You saw how long that didn't want to let me through, yes? Okay, cool. Just sprint, just sprint. Don't even look back, just sprint. Just sprint. It's because I got caught on the fucking visitor's door and then my nigga want to sit there and hit the, di the diddly bob after that. Yes, I know, right. 
very aware. It's just zigzag, zigzag and weave, zigzag and weave, yep. Bro! That's so silly, why is that a thing? It slows you down so much. That's so me. What am I supposed to do? It slows me down so much. I put my hand on it and then the fucker doesn't even open. That's silly. Just haul ass, haul ass, we're good. The ceiling collapsed? Stop! Steve. Now, what have I told you to about trying to go outside of your after grave father? Oh, you thank you, Steve. The guy over there, he's the reason why- No, I'm not! What makes you say that? That symbol on his arm. The man who killed us had the same one. He's the one who killed us. No, I'm not. I mean, did this still go by the name? William Turner. Okay, well, William. That he was the fireman who was trying to save you two. Wait. What? I have a brother I named Jason. That is the one who killed you. He got a real tattoo on his arm. While this little good to roll, you seem to have gotten a conveniently shaped scratch. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pop Steve, by the way, that I'm getting chased because of Damn, my brother. What's going on? Is William here too? Was this poor guy uh, trying to save us? Is his brother still here? I. Uh, Steve? Have I said anything? No, you have to tell me more. Beep, I mean, Stop what? that. I don't know what you're talking about, but it looks like you two have passed outside of your aftergrave border. And that means I have to send you back to your aftergrave. Tell him that we're sorry. Tell him that we're sorry. I'm almost positive that's what she was about to say. Cause you heard her like start to, to cry a little bit like, oh, we really was fucking up the wrong nigga. You were, cause I didn't, I didn't really do shit like that. But guess what? Let me tell you how I'm with my brother's ass. I'm gonna pull up on that nigga. I'm gonna take that, take my size 13s. I'm gonna shine them motherfuckers up real pretty, right? I'm gonna get the aftershave shape polish and everything, nigga. I'm gonna get some Vaseline too, so it's Astro Glide. And I'm gonna shine that shit so far up his ass, you can be tasting shoe leather. Because guess what? That fuck nigga got somebody to answer to, and that nigga is me, bro. Big Willie. Big Zilly. Putting a, about to put a fucking bullet in Jason's body, bro. Thanks, Steve. Hello, hello, and welcome aboard on the visitor glide. Yeah. You are currently being transported to the aftergrave of your invite. I'm Nani. Will arrive shortly. Again? I just left the aftergrave of my of my inviter. A welcome gift has been sent from your inviter. The teleportation of your last time it was a, it was a, a tape, but there's no TV in here this time. Let it be a strap. Jordy, let it be a strap. A glass shard. William rushes to the flames to save his family. Brave and bold, overcome by smoke, he fell. Historic story tragically told. Rescued by the fireman, he fought in the hospital's dim light. But lung damage claimed him, turning day into endless night. So we're at William's aftergrave. This is him in the hospital. I've been here before. This game is insane, bro. My brother's the reason why all this happened. And now I'm trying to find a way to rectify my brother's mistakes and to free myself. Guys, I don't even know what y'all want me to say, bro. Like this is in this is a top tier game, bro. When I tell y'all that indie games are built different, bro. Oh, he's in an iron lung. Oh, thank God you made it. I was worried that they were gonna catch up to you in the hallway. 
Yes. Yeah. Why did you want me to come here? And who are you? Don't you remember me? Yeah. I don't think so. Well then. But this is my last use. Remember. This is my last use, guys. Remember the game started. I got four uses of these glasses. It's the last one. William's eyes. Rescue your family. This is wild. I'm trying to walk through this house to get to my kid and my wife, bro. Wait, what? Wait, look. Death Registry, William Turner. Saved by firemen. 1974 to 2013. Death in hospital from lung damage. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. I wish I could have saved you and all the rest of your family. You were the only one that I managed to retrieve from the fire. You would be alive if I had stopped you from running inside that house. I'm so sorry, William. Don't say that. You did the best you could, and that's more than enough. Thank you. Bro, this game is crazy. Guys, can I ask y'all a question? As I said, I'm really bad at names. I've been said this, yes? What is my name? Jason's my brother. I thought Willie Turner was me. I forgot that Chase Turner and Emily Turner were, were the family. I Brain fart. So I'm not Willie. I'm not Chase. I'm not Emily. And I'm not Jason. I've this whole time been called you. Am I just me? William, I'm. Uh, are you okay, bro? Like, I mean, I, he's not okay. He's in an iron lung. But what's going on, bro? Let me talk to you about your family. Why are you not with your family in this world? Honestly, I wish I died in that house fire. Cause you stay where you are. Die where you die. Now, I died in the hospital. Yeah. And that was enough for them to separate our after. And as every day goes by, it hurts even more to not be there with them. I miss them so much. <sighs> Bro, that's insane. Inspector CC, can I find him? Why do you have the surveillance system? This world is heavily surveilled so that the dead won't try to go outside of their after-grave borders. Usually the only ones that have access to the security system are the ones with authority in this world. Okay. But there's this guy in this world that you've probably met. The Steve. Robot. Well, he cares. He gave me this system so I could watch over my family. And ever since the day I got this, I've been staring at the screen, waiting for the day my family would find and invite the person that they have been looking for. And then, you two came along. Okay. The invitation system only accepts one person at a time. But I guess you two mess up the system by being in the same place at the wrong time. Okay. And I instantly knew what was going on when I saw the symbol he cut into your flesh. William? Why did you want me to come here? To kill my brother? This world is like a threshold to the afterlife, a waiting area where we need to find.
find peace with our demise before we can Got cross it. over into the true afterlife, leaving our limbo state behind. Some do it by just letting time pass by. But in our case, time will never heal our wounds. If you avenge us, we can cross over into the true afterlife. Okay. I will be with my family again. I mean, Please. honestly, I'm cool to separate myself with mine. Help us before it's too late. Gladly, bro. And help yourself before it's too late. What do you mean before it's too late? Is he almost Let at the exit? You. Your brother is on his way to leave this world through the visitor exit as we speak. The portal only opens for one visitor per invitation. If he passes through, it will close. Your brother is trying to trap you here for all eternity. He couldn't get my family to kill you, so he's trying to get rid of you by giving you something worse than death. Spending an eternity alive. Got it. Not a problem. I know what I need to do. I can't thank you enough. Can I just get a strap, though? How will I make it to the visitor's exit? The robot. Or should I say, the human. Have a look at the news article on my desk. When the receptionist dies in cult hotel fire. In a tragic incident, a hotel was set on fire by a cult, leaving behind a mysterious symbol on the wall. Thankfully, everyone managed to escape safely except for the receptionist. Steve Elliott. Got it. Steve Elliott ensured that all the guests were evacuated, but sadly lost his life in the process. not only be saving us, but you'll be saving him as well. Tell him everything you know and he will definitely take you to the visitor exit. You will be free from his aftergrave. That's why he's at a reception desk. Got it. Got it. Got it. Bring Got it. When you're ready and you'll be teleported to the reception hall. Say less. And hey. Yes. Don't look down on yourself because you couldn't save us back in the fire. Because you're saving all of us. Of course. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, William. Rescue out then, Pache. Steven! Chop, chop! Yo, yo, Steven! Listen, dog, I can help us all out. Hello Let's talk. There, hey, bud. How can I help you today? Hear me out. I can help you, Steve. I don't need any help. I don't need help. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. I know who you were, Steve. But that doesn't make any sense. Because I'm just a robot. <laughs> Steve Elliott. I know who killed you. What? It was my brother, and he's on his way to the visitor exit. You need to take me there so I can make things right. Oh my God. I'm only allowed to transport people to the aftergrave. I will get in trouble if I just put you to the No, you won't. Because I'm going to kill him and I'm going to free you from this bitch. Because what I'm about to do will free you from your aftergrave. Say you'll help me, Steve! That's all I ever wanted to get to you, too! Come on! Okay. I will take you there. Let's go! Are you ready to go? Been ready! Yes! Okay! Let's go! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited!
Yeah, I was like, finally. I don't know, nigga. I need to stop Jason from entering the portal and finish him once and for all. <laughs> I'm trying to be a badass, honestly. Cause see, y'all have me running here like a, a scared bitch for about the last hour. Don't thank me yet, I ain't done shit. All right, hell yeah. We're in, guys. They dropped us right in front of this nigga. Emily trying to chase, trying to visit an exit. Jason locked the door behind him. Read note. I miss him so much. The silence. The, eh. I miss him so much. The silence in the house is unbearable, and I ache for his touch, his voice, his presence. Nights are the worst, lying awake, wishing he was here to hold me. My heart feels so empty without him. She's talking about her husband, Avi. Oh, grab shard. You saw that? Grab shard. And I gotta go get the sun steak. I miss dad. Dinner doesn't taste the same without him. He always made my favorite stuff and it felt special, like it was just for me. The house feels so weird and lonely, especially at night. I wish he was here to cook and play games with me. I miss him so much. Guys, we're gonna unite this family by breaking mine. That's it, breaking mine? I mean, breaking my foot off of my brother's ass. Let's go. I know what this is trying to have us do. We were supposed to fuse all of them together, but I don't have. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. It got hidden behind the photo. Or it got hidden behind the, um, the matchbox. All right, never mind. Thank God. I was like, bro, I could have sworn I had all three pieces. We're good. Oh, they trapped him. Oh, Karma's a motherfuck. They really trapped you, fuck nigga. Yes, sir. Oh, don't worry about it, bro. Got it. Entering the code 333 will open up the hatch for overclocking mode. You can over overclock one core at a time. If all three cores are overclocked simultaneously, the system will be overstimulated and the transportation will implode on itself. Use extreme caution. Hey, broster, hear me out. You killed a beautiful wife and child and father, all because you want to be a part of some freaky dinky ass cult where your, where your little big brother got something he want to tell you. And that's this. I need you to find the biggest, largest, most enormous thing that you can find and shove that straight up your ass, bitch, because now your ass belong to me. Just, just having a little bit of fun. What's, what's, so, what's so wrong? What's so wrong, brother? What's so wrong, bro? Oh, don't worry about it, brother. I'm not done yet. I got one more for that ass. Yeah, come on and join me, bro. I need to avenge them. You did this. Kill Jason as he killed them. Fuck out of here, bro. What a beautiful sight to behold, ladies and gentlemen.
Jason Anderson. Nineteen eighty nine to twenty fifteen. He lived for two years after killing these people, guys. Burned alive. What's the old saying? Karma's a what? Oh, my best friend? Thanks, Karma. Daniel Anderson. Nineteen eighty seven to twenty fifteen. Lost his life to save them. I've always known my life right in protecting those who can't protect themselves. If it means that they get to hold their loved ones a little longer, then my sacrifice is a small price to pay. I took me and my brother out, but by proxy, I reunited a family and a receptionist with the afterlife. And if you ask me, if that's the sacrifice I gotta make, then so be it. That was my. That was probably one of the most enjoyable games I played all year. Honestly, that might be one of my favorite, if not my favorite, indie game I played all year. Hands down, that was fucking immaculate. Yo, as you see, guys, yo did this all himself, guys. I ain't see no other name on that bitch other than Jordan Lindgren, bro, because Jordy Boy was cooking his fucking ass off. Guys, if you enjoyed. Ignited entry. You already know what to do. I will see you guys ideally later this week with another gameplay. Life has been kind of crazy. And I'm don't necessarily have the ability to talk about it right now. But soon I might. Until the next gameplay, and until many others, as always, I thank y'all, I love y'all, and I'ma see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.